Got somewhere to dress for And I've got no need to stress for And so I'll always put my best forth And count my blessings And there'll be no need for tissues Cause there'll be no further issues If you've got some... Okay, it's less than two weeks until Thanksgiving. We're here at the grocery store taking advantage of some of those pre-Thanksgiving day sales. You have your grocery shopping list if you're part of Tony's 12 Days of Thanksgiving. So we have our list. We're at the grocery store. So let's head on in and see what we can find. Okay, so for selecting our turkey, a lot of people like to use fresh turkey. They think it's fresher. But actually, frozen turkey is what I prefer because it's flash frozen right after being butchered. So frozen is actually fresher than fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and select my frozen turkey, and you can check out the website for thawing instructions. Okay, so we're going to need some orange juice for our cranberry sauce, and you don't want to get any kind of artificial orange concentrate. What you want is a fresh orange juice. So I'm going to do a simply orange bulk free juice. Okay, and since five of our recipes call for real butter, we're going to go ahead and make sure to get at least two pounds of butter. That's four sticks. Okay, we'll need some heavy cream for our mushroom shallot sauce, and this is actually plenty. Okay, so picking out fall pears for our pear arugula salad, you want one dark yellow, which is a bosque pear, one green anjou, and one red. And these together, combined with the arugula, is going to make a beautiful fall salad. And we can check that off our list. All right, next on the list is the Granny Smith apple. And what we're going to do with this apple is chop it up with some cranberries and put it on some frozen warm and serve rolls and let those rise. It's delicious. So we just need one big apple and that's plenty for the, all the rolls. Okay, and it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without cranberry sauce. Now I know it's tempting to use the canned cranberry sauce, but really making your own is easier than making ramen noodles. So I'm gonna get two bags because I'm cooking for so many people, but if you're cooking for about eight to 10 people, one bag is plenty and it's a 12 ounce bag, which is what my recipe goes by, so I make it really easy for you. So for our herb roasted turkey, I actually like to stuff my turkey with fresh herbs and onions and celery. Everyone who knows me knows I'm not a stuffing in the turkey kind of person. So I'm going to pick out some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme. And you can use any combination of these, the rosemary being the most important one, and some fresh sage. Yeah. Okay, so for our mushroom white wine shallot sauce, I just get bags of fresh sliced mushrooms. It makes it really easy. You can use one bag if you're cooking for about six to 10 people. And then if you're cooking for more, you might want to get two. So I'm going to get two bags of fresh sliced mushrooms. And I just spotted our pine nuts for our spinach cranberry pine nut saute. And with that, we're going to use actually dried cranberries. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our pine nuts as well. A lot of times you can find these in the produce section. Otherwise, you'll have to go to where all the other nuts are in the baking aisle. Green beans. Now, if you're making the mushroom white wine shallot sauce and you're freezing it ahead of time to bring out for Thanksgiving and warm up, they're making it really easy for us these days by making these green beans that you can just throw in the microwave and steam and pour the sauce over. But if you're doing your grocery shopping ahead of time, you might want to put this on your list of items to get just a few days before Thanksgiving since they do have a short expiration date. So I'm going to wait a few days to get my green beans. Since we'll be chopping up our onion and our celery ahead of time for our stuffing that we're going to make on Thanksgiving Day, I'll have to get one onion for our stuffing and then one onion that we're going to slice in big slices and stuff inside the turkey. And, oh, shallots. Okay, this is perfect because we're going to need two shallots for, for our mushroom white wine shallot sauce. And so now you can see side by side the difference between a nice big onion and a little shallot. So we'll grab two of these. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of fresh spinach for our sautéed spinach with dried cranberries and pine nuts. So you can get a big container like this 16 ounce container or in a bag. 
And this is another item that you'll want to wait to get on your list if you're shopping ahead of time and get it two or three days ahead of time to make sure it's fresh. And then we'll be getting a mixed greens with arugula for our pear, walnut, gorgonzola, arugula salad. And so this is the type of lettuce mix that you would want to get. It has arugula in it. But again, I'm going to wait just a few days before Thanksgiving before I get these items. Okay, so we'll definitely need some brown sugar. And um, for my cranberry sauce, my fresh cranberry sauce, I prefer to use agave nectar rather than white sugar. But you can use white sugar for your cranberry sauce. A lot of people do. But I'm going to get a bottle of agave nectar, and that's what I'm going to use to sweeten my cranberry sauce. Now you may already have flour at home, you probably do in your pantry, and using all-purpose flour in your gravy is perfectly fine. But if you want to make sure you have no clumps in that pan gravy, then this is the product that you'll want to use. It's Wonder, and it's perfect for gravy mix. And if you're intimidated about making your own pan gravy with your turkey, don't be. It is super, super easy, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so let's see, next on my list was my turkey bags. I actually like to use a bag because it makes it juicier on the inside. It'll make your turkey a lot juicier. But what you'll want to do is cut that bag open like the last half hour of roasting to make sure you get that crispy top. And that brings us to our next item, a roasting pan. Now you may already have a big roasting pan at home and that's perfect. If you don't, you'll want to get one of these babies make sure that it's big enough for your turkey. I've got something to live for. I've got surplus to give more. And we're all welcome through his door. So I've got my blessing.